All right, it's uh, June 21st, Tuesday morning. I just put two medium coats on and then a mist coat on this hood with about 10 minutes flash between, after I sealed it, of course. And looks pretty good. There's, there's some places on it that I can see where I had uh, missed a couple of minor things. Um, not a huge deal though. And it might even actually rub out. Although I understand that on a, I'm com coming to understand that on a single stage paint, you can't go hot and heavy on, on buffing out and stuff like that because it'll, uh, it'll do something to the paint. It's not like a clear coat. Um, so I'll, I'll do some more investigating on that, but it looks pretty good. It's, it looks like the metallic has laid out pretty consistent throughout. I think it's, I don't really see any lighter or darker spots, I don't think. It's a little bit hard to tell on the top though because the, the lights aren't directly above, but like this here, this light, I've got shining right at the side. It looks, looks pretty consistent. First time I ever shot metallic, so it's, uh, it's definitely more challenging. Um, anyway, I'm gonna let this dry, go clean my gun and, and stuff and get ready to uh, wet sand the doors. All right, here we go. By the way, it's 75 degrees in here with 78% humidity. I couldn't get it down. I got it down to about 65, but as soon as I opened the garage doors, you know, of course, you're gonna get that humid air from outside, but hopefully that's not gonna pose a problem. Um, I did use the slowest reducer uh, you can use. So that, uh, from what I understand, is supposed to help with any kind of a milkiness. I don't see a milkiness right now. So they say as long as the moisture that's in the air uh, dissolves, you know, uh, before, the, before the activator, the um, solvents in the uh, paint, as long as the water evaporates first, then you, you don't generally have any problems. So. All right, I'm gonna go, uh, notice my dust collection has done its job. It's thoroughly blue, so I'll have to get a new filter for that. All right, see you soon. Uh, it's been about 30 minutes. Here's a little bit of the side of it, get a little bit more understanding of what the color is. When it gets out into the brighter light outside, uh, it, it'll be lighter than it actually is. It looks really, really dark, but I think when it's outside in, in natural sunlight, it's gonna be lighter. Um, but that's what's cool about this color, in my opinion, and why I chose it, because it can look really dark in some lighting, but then in bright, full-on sun, it takes on a whole different character. Um, it's, it's really cool. But anyway, I think it's I think it's pretty good. There's there's a little bit of a little bit of orange peel here. I think you can probably see that. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna rub it out with a uh, thousand grit sandpaper and then uh, buff it. Uh, maybe this weekend. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm painting, I'm in the painting stage now. So I'll paint the doors tomorrow and the roll bar and then hopefully the Jeep body on Thursday or, or Friday anyway, um, so I can get all the painting done and be done with all of that and then start rubbing things out. All right, catch you soon. All right, I'm out of my shop uh, wet sanding these doors. Uh, I'm gonna get those ready. And uh, also the, uh, the roll bar, which is actually sitting out in my front yard. <laughs> I uh, primed it yesterday, and so I just gotta wet sand it as well. So next up will be these, uh, these two doors and the roll bar, which uh, if everything goes well today on the wet sanding process, I'll be setting up to paint those tomorrow. All right, here we go. All 
All right, here's the hood sitting out in the sun. And I am pretty pleased with the way that came out. I love the color of it, don't you, Coleman? Yeah. That is sweet. Well, I don't really, I don't see any splotchiness anywhere. Do you, Carter? Me either, not really. Right here. What is that? No, that's just where I touched it. No, I don't think I don't think there's any splotchiness on. It. I think it turned out pretty good. Really? Oh, that's a that's where I sanded it and I didn't smooth it out all the way. Yeah, there's a couple little places like that, but it's you have trouble seeing it, right? Man, that looks great, doesn't it? I am excited about that. All right. Uh, I've got everything wet sanded uh, to 400 grit. I've got my uh, roll cage in here and both the doors uh, taped off, ready to go. And a new fil filter in my uh, dust collection thing, which I'm glad I've got, you know, can use that because it's uh, what the fans aren't able to draw out through the door, this thing picks up. Uh, the filter I took out of there was completely covered so, so I'm going to leave the dehumidifier running uh, throughout the night. And let's set that there. The uh, air temp set to 75. And right now it, we have got 60% humidity in here. It's 81. So that hopefully will drop some. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do the doors tomorrow and the, uh, the roll bar. And then uh, hopefully those those go well. I still have to uh, prep the other side of the doors. Um, I've got a little bit of work to do on them, actually. Um, the passenger side has a dent right here. It's probably where when they couldn't open the door, they kicked it or something to try to get it to open. But And then, of course, I've got to take this off or take it off or either that or tape it off. Um, that's going to get cleaned and painted with a vinyl black paint. I've got the other door um, cover thing uh, in the shop. Same, same color as this, so it'll get painted uh, black. I'm not gonna replace the seals and stuff on the door right away, I don't think. Um, I don't wanna have to deal with this, this channel glass. That's a pain in the butt for one thing, but I don't know, maybe, maybe the door seals around where it shuts. I, I might do that. That's simple enough to do, but, um, all right. Yeah, that's it. So tomorrow morning, bright and early, be out here painting. Hopefully it goes well. All right. Catch you guys next time. Beer 30.